Hello, this is John Robertson. Come join me today as I take a walk and do some woodland photography and small scene landscape photography on the first snow in Indiana. Good morning, I'm out for the first snowfall of the year to do a little bit of photography. I'm in Indiana, so I'm not gonna get, uh, you know, any snow-capped mountains in the background. No big vistas to shoot from. But I do have the simplicity of a beautiful Midwestern snowfall. in my local woodland area, and I'm at this little lake right now for my first shot that I'm trying to capture. Just something very simple. Get my first image off. Just looking out over this lake. I think this is called Delaware Lake. And I've got this little down log that gives me some leading lines out into the water itself. Got some interesting patterns out on the, the ice as well that uh, should add a little bit of interest to it. And then just a very basic background with the snow covered trees. So I'm going to try it with and without a polarizer. You know, I, I kind of like it without a little bit better, but I'll see what it looks like on my computer screen. And uh, again, just a nice, simple composition. So that's at one third of a second, F13, ISO 100. That was with the polarizer. Turn the polarizer off. So let's continue on down the path and see what else we can find out here in this beautiful morning. about the first snow just turns us all into kids again no matter how old you are and no matter where you are down a day like today all the indoor cats have got their face pressed up against the window looking outside whether they're of the feline variety or the human variety So this area of the park is the Walnut Grove. Rumor has it that when the military owned this land, they planted this Walnut Grove to use the wood for supplies. I've even heard that it was to be used for stock of rifles. However, when they planted it, they planted them too close together and therefore stunted the growth of them. At least that's what I've heard before. Haven't confirmed that with the naturalist here at the park, but that's the history I have on the, this walnut grove. So I'm going to try to get uh, something unique in here. Let's see what I can do from a photo. 
So as you can see, these are all planted very straight rows, which leads me to want to uh, try to capture something a little bit unique here. I'm going to try some intentional camera movement up and down to make something out of this. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's pretty, but it's not very photogenic as is. So I'll show you what I'm going to set up to try to get that. So in this grove, this is the setup I'm going to do. As you can see, these are all planted in very straight rows, which is uh, kind of interesting, but the, not the most photogenic thing. What I'm going to do is called intentional camera movement, if you've ever heard of that. I'm sure many of you have. But it's basically setting the camera up for the shot, getting it focused where you want, and then release the shutter and move the camera. That way it gives you the blur on the lines, and I've got it on a tripod because I want to keep it, um, the movement, only in this one direction. I um, should also mention that I turn off the uh, image stabilization. Uh, not that I know that has any difference, but uh, it seems to make sense to turn it off for this type of movement since I don't want to counteract it. And here's the result. Again, on this photo, I used ICM, then I added a radial mass down the center to brighten it up and add a little saturation. trying to find a few compositions just a simple composition again where I softened up the background sharpened up the tree a little bit just to give it a little bit of a surreal feel Just another simple composition of the ice structure with rocks protruding through. Just remember on these small scene compositions to keep them simple. Yet again another small scene simple composition of these icicles dripping down to the rapids below. I think I found a couple small scale landscape uh, compositions out here. It's one of the things you have to look for when you don't have the big vistas and you only have you know, a little bit uh, limited areas to photograph in such as this. So you have to kind of look for the small scale compositions. Sorry, I kept looking away. I thought I heard a uh, something up in the brush here. I know there's muskrats in this area, so I was looking to see if that was there. So anyway, I think it's good practice on those small scale compositions. It definitely helps develop your skills for uh, even when you've got the big vistas, uh, you know, such as the Tetons in the background. And uh, I think that's going to be it. I think I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a chance to get outside and enjoy this beautiful weather. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining.